Hello friends, Neil here, EMF Safety Zone channel. Well, I'm going to show you a very interesting video here. I moved into an apartment building, which I'll show you right here. This is uh, the corner of the building where my bedroom is. This is the window of my bedroom. And as you can see, I covered it with screen. What this is is simply metal aluminum screen that I bought at the hardware store. Okay, and for all I know about EMF, I'm surprised at myself for even moving into an apartment like this. But I guess I did it for a reason. And here's one of the reasons. Probably to help educate other people. So this is the building that's adjacent to me. And right behind this wall here, this lady has her wireless router for her internet. Okay, I'm just walking right up to the wall here. You can hear it. And you can see it registering. All right, and you can see how close her building is to mine here, which is just about 15 or 20 feet. And so what I did, because her wireless signal was going right through this wall, right into my bedroom, I got the aluminum screen and I tacked it on from the top of the wall, like this. I got 12 foot rolls of it that are 4 feet wide, 12 foot long and 4 feet wide, tacked it on. And then what you'll notice I did right here is I got a piece of copper wire and I bolted it to the screen and then I attached it to the copper pipe with a hose clamp and knocked the copper, copper pipe into the ground so that grounded this entire setup. And once again I'll just show you, here's the corner, I wrapped it around the corner I put it over my window, still gets air through it, and I grounded this side of it as well in the exact same way. And again, turning the acoustometer on, you can see her wireless signal. It's not huge, but it's still, it was still coming through my wall into my bedroom and this is right equal with my bedroom window right here. So I'll go into the house and I'll show you what the readings are inside of the house after doing this. Alright, so now I'm inside my bedroom and this is where we were standing just a minute ago right outside, right out this window here and there's the corner of the person's house with the wireless router right on the other side of that wall and I know that because I knocked on her door and she let me in and I explained the situation to her. So as you can see here there's a screen on the window and then the extra screen out there and look at this and yes the acoustometer is turned on I have the volume almost all the way up the switch is on and basically I would imagine I got about 95 or 96 or 99 percent attenuation. Now see, right there I can hear a little bit of her wireless modem. I don't know if you can hear that on the video or not, but we're not getting any microwatts per square meter, either peak or average, in here at all. There's no registration. So I basically created a Faraday cage inside my bedroom here. Yeah, I'm not getting any reading in here at all. And before I put up the screen, the reading was just as strong as it was outside. Here I am by the window. And it's still blocking it. Alright, and just to keep this video short, this is my office, and I did the same thing on the outside of this wall because this gentleman across the way here 
uh, he has a cordless phone and wireless internet and it was blasting through this window into my office here giving me a headache alright so I did this entire outside of this wall with screen and I did the outside of this wall here with screen and check this out All right, I attenuated the whole thing. I, re I reduced, sorry for the lack of light here. There we go. See that, the meter's completely quiet. So if you live in an apartment building, if you live in a house, if you live in a neighborhood uh, where the, the neighbor's close to you, their wireless internet and cordless phones are going through your house just go to the hardware store and make sure to use metal screening it's aluminum and tack it onto the side of your house make sure the sections or the layers touch each other and then ground it into the ground and you have um, radio frequency shielding at probably I'm just guessing 98 99 97 percent attenuation uh, because this certainly worked because this meter was registering his cordless phone and wireless internet. So you got yourself a do-it-yourself uh, fix here that's not terribly expensive and it's definitely cheaper than going and purchasing radio frequency shielding uh, drapes and uh, other fabrics. Alright, thank you.